Hello everyone, my name is Rasul from Group 4. So one day, me along with my friends went to nearest Domino's outlet and ordered a delicious pizza. Unfortunately, the pizza which I ordered at first was not available at that moment, so I ordered another one. To my notice, the toppings on the pizza was very less to somewhat missing. So we raised the issue at the counter. We further questioned them and deep dived into this problem a little more and found that Domino's was already facing the problem with their supply chain for a very long time. There is a problem of food wastage and excess of food stock is being discarded due to its expiry in the supply chain of Domino's. This problem is arising because nobody is keeping an watch on inventory because Domino's has a massive supply chain and tremendous demand. The excessive amount of money is being spent solely on inventory due to which revenue of Domino's is automatically getting reduced if most of the sum is going into inventory. The same money can be spent into marketing product launches, market penetration and various other activities if the same inventory is managed very efficiently. So we have an imaginary database solution to this real existing problem. So we have found out the solution by using the if function. As you can see this is the hyperlink button which will directly lead you to the desired page in the worksheet. Now here is the datasheet along with the solution and this is the uh, columns which comprises of product, date of entry, date of expired, expiry or not, stored, discard, don't discard and if less than 30 days or stock up or not. For example, taking milk as a product, here is the date of entry of the milk that is 1st January 2022 and the date of expiry that is 29 January 2022. As we can see, it expired which was actually stored in refrigerator. Here we have used if function in such a way that if yes equal to discard which means item expired so it was discarded and if no equal to don't discard. Suppose if there is any shortage of product then using if function less than 30 days it will generate a notification to call the supplier which will, uh, which will stock up those products. This will solve the issue of the shortage of the product and the product will be available all the time. If the stock is more than 30 days, it will show up as stock is available. To know about how we did this in macro and the dashboard, stay tuned with us. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, this is Jyoti Shao from group 4. In our last video, we discussed about the problem statement and the data set of the pizza brand Domino's. While in this video, we will discuss about the macro, relative reference and such other functions along with our dashboard for the same brand. Uh, proceeding to the data set, this is our data set and we will apply the macro in this data set. We have used the functions data validation to provide the condition of filtering the data set. Then advanced filter to filter the data set as per the need and applying macro and relative reference in order to get the desired information. Relative reference is used to record an offset from an active cell whenever calculations need to be repeated. Whereas macro is, aut uh, is used to automate the recorded calculations. With the help of data validations, we have created the list of options that is discard and don't discard. While here in the column we have for if less than 30 days or stock up or not, we have taken stock is there or to call supplier. Now we will apply the advanced filter to segregate the data as per the needs or the conditions we have set. We will go to data then advanced filter. Here we will select copy to another location. List range is our table that is the data set, entire data set. Then criteria range, we will select the conditions we have taken and copy to, we can select any row to copy our data. Then OK. Here we got the list of uh, information based on the stock is there, that is the condition being provided above and the don't discard option. Now we will go to macro and relative reference. Going to developer, we will record a macro. You can rename as per your choice. then ok. Now we will apply use relative reference and we will select uh, we will remove the data. 
that is we will delete the data now we will close relative reference again we will go to this data start relative reference and again we will apply that advanced filter it will automatically take your last conditions we will apply ok then again we got this data and we will again close that relative reference and stop recording now we will go to insert select a button apply a button and we will apply the macro we have recorded now you can hide your main data for your better visibility now once you get this button you can select the desired condition click on the button you will get the data as per your choice if its stock is there or not or the call supplier you can apply button function or the conditions to get the desired data now we will move towards the dashboard what is dashboard and how dashboard can easily explain the big data sets in this dashboard of dominos inventory we have taken three domains on the dashboard one is bar chart which shows the product and their total cost second is pie chart which shows the product and the status of the product whether to discard the product or not and the third column is column chart which contains information about the stock of the product all the three domains are linked to each other for example if we click on corn then the total cost discard or not and the stock will appear at the same time hence this is the main aim of the dashboard that by clicking on one product you can see the entire data of the product under multiple domains